Welcome to USL Live and to week four of season 22 of the Unified Skirmish League. I'm your host, Romulox, and you're watching the rematch of Over 9,000 and Hungry Beavers. The last two weeks have been a roller coaster, to say the least, but Hungry Beavers 2.0 has emerged with a fresh lineup, even hungrier for a victory today against the league leaders. But Sov and his minions on Over 9,000 seem ever ready to rise to the occasion, backed up by the strength of their deadly lineup. For more information, match statistics, and how you can sign up to play in the Unified Skirmish League, we ask that you please visit USLZone.com. Joining me in the USL Live commentary booth for the match, I am privileged to welcome in my co-host for this evening, Bowen. Hey, yo, how's it going? Dude, uh, there have been many attempts over many seasons to cut off the head of the snake to finally take down Saab, but nearly all of them have failed. The King Cobra has been an unstoppable force in free infantry since season one, but this roster for Hungry Beavers looks to me to be the strongest lineup he has ever faced. Mecca has cobbled together the best seven players he can in true, true Marvel style and assembled them together, and tonight he will lead them against over 9,000 in a game that I feel is certain to be a preview of the Season 22 Championship game. What say you? Oh, I agree, I agree completely. This roster for Hungry Beaver is, is incredibly good. Uh, this is the only roster I could see even giving over 9,000 a, a legitimate shot. But it's going to take a lot because these guys on over 9,000 have played together and been together and done everything together for a season. This, this is just, it's a really hard thing to tackle because these guys have so much cohesion. They know when to push, they know when to hold, and they know what the other rest of the team is doing at all times. Yeah. Speaking of playing together, I guess the only one that hasn't played together is kind of the conversation, which is Gift. Um, we'll talk about that here in just a second, but let's go ahead and get some predictions on the game. Uh, how do you see this going, and, and what, what do you what do you think is going to happen? I'm on an over nine thousand, winning by about thirty five to thirty. I think it's going to. Well, be let me let, let's nice. expose our biases here because this is a very interesting dynamic. Bowen and I are <laughs> both uh, on these squads, so I play for Hungry Beavers. Bowen plays for over nine thousand, but we are both bench players for both teams, um, and and the starters in this game definitely were set, you know, weeks ago. Let's oh, say yeah. that. So uh, so it's a very interesting dynamic. But go ahead, Bo, and I didn't mean to steal your thunder there. No, no, you're absolutely right. I was just saying, oh, yeah, no, I didn't mean to cut you off there. So no, I'm, I'm with you. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, so, you, so you see over 9,000 winning it. Do you have an idea on score, how you think it's going to finish? 35 to 30, I think. 35 it's to 30, close. okay. Yeah, and it's going to be slow. I could definitely see that. I, I, I don't know. For some reason, I think it's going to pick up a little bit, and there's going to be... Um, I think it'll be a little bit more than that, but I, I kind of agree with you. I'm going to go 47-42. I, I think over 9,000, I initially said that Hungry Beavers are going to win this game, but I think over 9,000 are going to win in a last-second play. That's going to look a lot like uh, the TKO-TBS game in Week 1 in terms of I think Hungry Beavers are going to try and like you know not get in the, exactly the right position to be able to hold on and retain the lead, and then I think it's going to be an over 9,000 sweep that's going to finish it, and it's going to be kind of a bittersweet. Um, moment for Hungry Beavers that'll lead into playoffs. But that's my that's my thought on it. Let's talk about the rosters we've got uh, going on. Bowen, you want to introduce them? Yeah, so over 9,000, we have CC, Champion, Demon, Iron, Yosh, or Pilaf, Shasta, Sov, and The Gift. Hungry Beavers, we got Aerith, Colossal, ER, Fairfax, Kaga, SK, The Mountain, and Mecha, a.k.a. Toranaga. What do you think about your over 9,000 roster for tonight? In terms oh, very of good. I mean, this is kind of the, the bread and butter, right? Like, these are these are pretty much the normal guys that you're going to see in the the big games overall. Uh, the, the ones that I could see possibly being, um, there's always that chance of, like, CC being hit with some grenades or him being a little overly aggressive. There's always mm -hmm. that shot. Or uh, somebody like Gift getting taken out a little bit because, like you said, he's not normally in this group. So, but I'll let you talk on Hungry Beavers a bit. Yeah, uh, as we as the game starts here, we've got Hungry Beavers actually going north off the start um, on the Kali side, which is interesting. Yeah, I think this is the strongest the strongest lineup for Hungry Beavers minus, as we noted, uh, Jake is in for what probably would be Eso's role. Um, you know, we're uh, we're missing a couple of guys here tonight, um, but generally, I mean. It's a good it's a good roster for both teams, as we said. And these guys have played together now for a while. Everybody's in the flow of the season. I think this is going to be a lot better game than the first round. Agreed. Yeah, oh, this, we're, this should be pretty tight. We're already have contact uh, north of mid. Sov gets out. 
Iron and Gift realize the situation that they're moving as well, but Hungry Beavers is the one to readjust. Yeah, it was a pretty good call on their end because, as you can see, looking at Northwest Mid, over 9,000 is coming. So they were ready to get that angle pretty quick, and I think Hungry Beavers was able to contact that pretty quick. Over 9,000 stuck a little bit in mid trying to get out. Mecca, Mecca calls it for the move. Yeah, uh, that's an interesting dynamic as well I meant to bring up. Uh, missing the Marine, big Marine for Hungry Beavers is Fausto, which doesn't bring... He's not necessarily noted for his Marine skills, although he's a very good Marine, but he's an excellent leader. Um, and I think that might be something that's missing here for Hungry Beavers that may actually be a deciding factor. Very Hungry true. Oof. Uh, we got I, some hard contact going in. Yes, the everybody's the staying alive, though, right now, even though Hunger Beavers probably almost certainly have the worst position. Great laws at Mountain. I can't believe he's staying alive. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised how easily over 9,000 got out of that choke point, actually. I was expecting some more fire going into East Mid. Kaga's going to take Demon one-on-one -on -one there on the south. Uh, it looks like everybody's been able to... Oh, good law. Oh, a little, little long. If Demon gets a shot to turn that around, he is going to run over their backside. I think he's going to run back to... Yep, they're going to reposition a little bit now. Hungry he's Beavers focus on that north team. Iron and Sob, Yosh, Gift, as they fall. Yep. Looks like some good repositioning here. I don't think they were quite happy with what they were stuck with. I think everybody first. realized they were just going to stay there for a real long time. Yeah, probably. Yeah, nice. it looks like Hunger Beavers is going to run down into the rocks here. And after and that whole battle. And IK is going to try and catch them there. They do not get there in time, though, so they're going to back up. Not a not a death yet. We're still waiting for that first uh, first blood to be spilled. Almost shocking no one died in that last I know, battle, I know. It's been, to the med. Mountain came, came certainly within, he was probably uh, 15 or less, probably 10 or less. HP. Some demo fire going back and forth on the South Rock side. I think Hungry Beavers might have some of the load happening on the bottom side. They can probably get some angle up on Demon if they can push it, but it uh, looks like over 9,000 is going to overload that south angle a little bit to kind of push them back in. You know, does getting popped a little bit. Another thing we haven't talked about is, the as you were mentioning, the demos. We have two of the best, probably the two best demos in the game playing this game, Colossal and Champion, I would say. Uh, Tactical's pretty solid, too, at the, at the roll, but... Um, I, Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would say these two are definitely the best. As you mentioned, Tactical's great. Um, but it's hard to compare with people like Champion and yeah. Colossal because they're just their aim is so perfect. I wonder if the uh if the class will play a big role or kind of fade into the back right now. Right now it hadn't made a a, a factor for anybody yet. I haven't seen a lot of connections so far. Yeah, I'm not really sure either side has really made a connection on either on anything at this point. Um, looking at Kaga doing some of his cover fire a little bit, and that's helped a little bit keeping some of these things at a stalemate. But there's some respect for it, I feel like, but it really hasn't been any impact from it. Hungry Beaver's just holding the rocks position. It looks like they're falling back. Uh, maybe going to try and move north here, shift into uh, mid or back into rocks maybe. Maybe just a little bit of a lure. Ooh, that could get ugly, actually. I'm looking at over 9K. I think yep. they're going to stop there, though. Over 9K, pretty spread out here. They are. They're holding some vision, I think, just trying to see where they, they're spread out, but they're at a point where they could get to each other pretty mm -hmm. quick. That's a good point. I think they're, yeah, and I think they're confident enough in their abilities to be able to, to survive long enough. I'm a little worried about Yosh there. No, he's fine. He's going in the rocks. Some contact down the South Rocks. Now Raver just uh, exchanging tit for tat with the other team right now. Yep. Colossal firing some shots. Yeah, talking about those uh, those demos, competing demos here. Yep. Just a bit of a hold there. Not a lot happening with it. Colossal That's the same. thing is if you kind of see it coming, especially if you kind of know what you're doing, like you, you can pretty easily dodge yeah. those RPGs. Yeah, especially, yeah, more advanced players, I think, do a better job handling them. That's for sure. <laughs> As Demon almost eats one in the face. <laughs> <laughs> this is interesting. 
yeah, this is it's going slow, like I thought it would, but it's it's slow, but it's not slow, right? Because there's been constant the, the battle. whole time has been contact. Yeah, it's yeah. just uh, I think I think everybody knows the first first person to go down. That's it's it, the race is on. I wonder how ammos are doing on both sides. I yeah, just noticed that uh, Kaga question. and Aerith dropped some ammo on that side. I know Jeff is probably saying, thank God Fax has RPGs. Yeah, very true. Same for Champion on that matter. He's been kind of being a little bit more reluctant to fire off here the last couple minutes now. Looks like over 9,000. Like is going to back off. We're yeah. going to peel off here. They, they, now they have the ones saying, we're going to be here forever. And everybody, like you said, is in, in trouble with ammunition, I would imagine, at this point. Got to be below the two in the 200s or below on everybody. Yeah, I would think so. I mean, they've been trying to be somewhat hesitant on shooting it, but they've had so many battles that have kind of required people to really keep fire up. That mm -hmm. I think, yeah, as you mentioned, I think everybody's probably in trouble for ammo right now. They're going to need to get something close range to try to pipe this thing off. Seven minutes into the game now. Uh, we've had contact, as we said, but still a score is zero to zero. Everybody just still posturing. Um, over 9,000 has probably had the superior positioning, but haven't been able to capitalize on it as Hungry Beavers fell uh, totally in control. And yeah, just waiting for that first battle that goes one way or the other. Look at Sav. Sav is running through the Hungry Beavers base right now. Getting that angle. <laughs> the rule allows it. Yeah, he can't fire until he gets out of it. So I mean, I'm guessing Gift he, is going with him. He won't run into anybody. Yep, you're right. And Pilaf just took off onto the right, onto the center side of it. Becca angles his team towards. I don't. I don't think he's thinking they're there though. But I think SV might see them here. Mountain, I should say. Mountain and his team moving far right. Oh, this could get weird. Actually, they're halt. They're they're stopped on a point. Uh, Look it, at this it, hold on the east side of their base. Yeah, a very interesting. <laughs> I like this. This is going to be fun. Yep. they Very unexpected, but they're over 9,000 is a little bit out of position on that, but they're getting it back pretty quickly. I think that caught off guard factor of it was maybe a little helpful. Left side is getting there. They're pushing the left side together. Uh, SK's in trouble. SK down. Oh, there's the demo. That And that's the, I mean, I not saying Jake's a bad player, but I am saying there's Iso and Fausto that probably would have taken that spot. Ooh, CC eating some shots though. He about went down there. He uh he got a hold of a couple of demo shots. Kaga's getting lit up a little bit now. Yeah, Kaga trying and... to survive. He's uh it looks like Mecha's the one who's actually more in trouble. He is now. Yeah, I think Kaga's gonna go down, but shots is running him up on him. Aerith's trying to keep. Oh, Mecha good alive. name, he good name. Oh, Mecha takes two. Can he take CC? No, he can't. No heal there. CC is down. Staley a little slow to react, unfortunately. I don't think they thought it was going to go that way. Oh, but Gift, Gift takes a hit. Gift and Iron are hurt on the side. Gift goes down. Oh, They're wow, going after Iron big. now. Not going to get him. Iron, great angle on that retreat. The score yep, is 5-4. to four, one, And Hungry Beavers somehow end up with the lead. Yep, the battle on the southwest side, right around the southern rock side, really helped out with Tornega taking over some shots there. Like, Mecha clutched that. Yes, well done, Mecha. Um, this, is a, this is a game, folks. Game time. Yeah, we got some people with some ammo now. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Might change some things. Got some fresh laws. Yep. Yep, Shasta is Raver. probably very low right now, so the LMG. Is oh, Demon be a takes a lot of hits. Thing. Oh, he got CC out there a little bit. Yeah, CC took as many hits too. Oh, Demon's low. Yay. He's healed. He's healed. He's good now. That was a very good healing job by CC there. He's playing mm -hmm. pretty clutch right now as well. All the meds are. Raver, Raver hitting some shots too. I think that needs to be pointed as well. Yeah, he got streamed up. That was solid. Uh, Gift goes into south mid. He and Sov are looking to take an angle. I wonder why they're taking two people on that switch for the flank. Mecca's going wide right here. I'm wondering where he's going. He's watching that. Watching that east he mid is. door. He's watching the door. Yep. Clever. I think he's just seen Sov's leading so much at this point. He's just aware of these kinds of plays coming out. 
<laughs> Raver, Raver and, and Eric just trade shots. Iron just ate a demo shot to the or RPG shot to the face. I mean, he's fine now, but uh, if he did eat another one, I think he was actually in some rough trouble there in the middle. We're just in a holding pattern right now, waiting for somebody to make a move, a flanker. I think Hungry Beavers are thinking the flank is coming at some point. They're just waiting to react. Yeah, Mecha's just watching Sav up there. They've been firing some shots at each other. That South team is, is sitting, I think, champions. Ch champion is champing at the bit, waiting to get into this. Champion. He is. I'm wondering how, again, <laughs> I wonder how his RPG situation was. I can't remember. I think he survived that last fight, so... Kaga has to retreat to get away from him, but here comes the demo. Shots is cut off. Oh, oh man, but Iron being Sob, Iron. Oh, Sob tags him up. Shot, Sob, Kaga's in trouble. He oh, goes down to the law. law. Really unfortunate. That is honestly did not play that poorly just in a final position. Catches that law. Colossal switches, yep. hits Yosh. Yosh down! Oh, it's even numbers oh, again. Wow. SV holding off that middle though. choke by himself. Fairfax is going to switch up and try and get my hand. SV might have the advantage here. No, Raver goes down in a position that he didn't need to go down in. Yeah, I'm not even sure what got him. Looks like he caught he, a... He I think he caught down. an RPG. Oh, no, he survived. oh yeah. and Beavers gets wiped. Score now 12-7 to with over 9,000 retaking the lead. 17 minutes and 25 seconds to go. Oh, say it ain't so for Hungry Beavers. Doing everything <laughs> right, and then it just still it comes comes untangled. That one busted open law just, especially taking out an LMG with the fire he's been having on him, just shut it down. Oh, man, that, that law on Kaga was real big. Was real big. Oh, yeah. That was so well placed. I mean, it's just, that's a champ special, right? His laws are always insane. It's one of the guys who've been one of the best players in the league for 20 years. Yep. Um, we got Hunger Beavers going up north this time. They're going to try and change the battlefield, it seems. Um, Sav is splitting out hard here. I think he's just yep. kind of watching to see where Hungry just Beavers is. Just trying to get vision. vision. Trying yeah. to take advantage of that AT position. We got him going through mid, it looks like. Getting a bunch of varied positions in mid. Champion, champion just... Uh, Taking that middle, waiting for him to come through. Let's see here. Oh, look at Hungry Champion Beavers there. moving around T-shirt, actually, doing a full rotation of the map. Again, this... wide angles here. If Sov gets caught out, he's probably dead. I mean, yeah, AT can get away. But... This big battle, this next battle is, is going to be very big and maybe honestly decisive. Oh, watch Sov here and watch Sov and Mountain. Mountain is in trouble. Yep, Mountain is about to get cut. There he goes. He had no idea Sav was there. And they're pushing through the chokes. Over 9,000 now is on the hunt. They smell blood. And they got to move. There are, they could get Mountain in the back here, and it could be a reverse situation. So they've got to get some kills now. They're pushing them back through the choke. Oh, that law is good. Oh, but everybody dodges. Oh, yeah, good job, ball, guys. Dude. Yep, good movement. Uh, Mountain is coming south. He's going to be with the respawn in no time. That was a control fall. Really good to get in the rocks. Good positions on the rocks. If they could just hold yep. it till SV gets there, that's all they need to do right now. Very solid. That And Colossal putting in some work with some of those RPGs. He just backed off that center team. Six kill game, 13 to 7, 14 54 to get. We just crossed the halfway point of this game. Uh, nobody with a definitive lead, like in terms of momentum or anything. I think over, over 9,000 look a little better right now um, and kind of deciding where this game takes place and Hungry Beavers reacting. But no, it's still anybody's game, I think. Yeah, there's this game looks a lot better than the first game was. We were talking about it before how in the first game there was this this seemed to be almost slowness to how Hungry Reavers reacted to them. Mm -hmm. That is not happening in this game right now. They've been very quick to react. Uh and the cohesion's much better. I think everybody's listening to Mecca really well because I'm just watching them move with him and it's clear that they are hanging on words. 
Oh, oh look yeah, at him bunching up on the south. This may this be an ambush be play. Ugly. Oh, they need to push out. He's Mecha Mecha knew exactly what he wanted to do. He saved the play even though nobody else listened to him. I know what just happened there. I know it. Yep, it worked out. That bottom team got wrecked. They only got I, two kills out of that, which is shocking. Gotta call out the guys that did not push with Mecha. That was yep. uh, almost disaster if Mecha had not gotten those kills. Yeah, and honestly, it's still kind of disastrous because they should have gotten. Yeah, they should have gotten all the kills. Yeah, and they're gonna push back now. SV in a lot of trouble. Oh no, they're spread out. Staley, get together. Get no, get together with Mountain. Fight with Mountain. Demon getting streamed up by ER there. Oh, but Champion Kaga down, soft down, Kaga yep. takes down an Iron Soft Champion down. This is swinging Beaver's way right now in a big way. Yeah, they could not get the kill on the end there to finish it off. Oh, Shasta is the right last there. one left. Yeah. Raver and Shasta fighting here. it out in rocks here. Raver just trying to slow him up. But he's going oh, down. He <laughs> Shasta <laughs> takes Raver with him. That's exactly what he wants to do. Shasta's feeling a lot better about that death now. Oh, yeah. But tie game. Tie now. game 14 all with 12.50 to go. And Mountain just doing SV things. He's five and two. Torinaga at four and two. Sorry, my country came out for a second. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> my country can come out with you. <laughs> All right. Uh, they're in mid, it looks like, right now. We've got uh, Mecca, his other team a little bit south. Kaga in trouble. Kaga in major trouble. Oh, he yeah, goes Kaga down. Colossal could probably hold that door. He is a... Especially if Raver gets there. They could probably hold that door. So I'm cheating it a little bit, but that would be... I think he's not going to go for that. He will get pinched. He knows it. Um, I wonder now, you try to get Kaga to come in and be your flank. They could do the same thing they did last battle. He's mid, though. Oh, he no. Raver's in trouble. Raver hanging on. But <laughs> oh, he tried to slow it up as much as he could. It's yeah. time for them to get out north. Oh. They need, a, they need a turn and get out north as fast as they can. They don't even know it yet. Oh, Aerith eating the RPG. He might go down here. Not be managed to get back. Oh, no. Oh, but Torinaga takes a law. And they got a and flank in from, right, from left side. The gift comes yep. in. Oh, laying it on his former teammates. Colossal and Mountain, the last two up. You can't. I don't think either one of them make it past out of this. Absolutely not. Nope. Mountain's there's Colossal down Mountain down now. Kaga says, "I'm bailing, guys. I'm sorry." Sob and almost ate it until Iron Shirt. Kaga and Raver. That is the <laughs> first battle we have seen that was absolutely decisive. Twenty-two to fourteen. Ten fifty-seven to go. Over nine thousand. Reverse the trend. Momentum shift back in their way. Yeah, I think over 9,000 was kind of angry about the game being tied and just decided to just run over it. It seemed yeah. like they got angles on that so fast. And this team down over here on the southeast side of the base is also in trouble. They're going to get pinched up and angled. Oh, up. They, they got six out there. It's oh, six on six right now. Law. Demon goes down. Big break open kill there. Uh, Colossal is just looking to pick anybody he can. That was a fantastic Time for Jake to get involved. This needs to be a big law. Oh, and he gets yeah. it. Jake gets it. Shasta down two. Jake oh, is on fire right now. Uh, gifted Sob, CC. I think over 9,000 overstayed their welcome a little bit oh, there. Oh, look at that fall, that retreating law from champion. On a, on a, on a lesser team, that would have been a great law. But against Hungry Beavers, hmm. Gift is Gift's Gift go stops to hard. try to save everybody else. Let them get out. Oh my God! He almost takes down Fairfax. <laughs> he survived a lot longer than he should have. Fax just <laughs> took a stream and was probably worried there. Got probably to 15 HP or lower. Yeah. Oh, champion oh, gets lawed back. That's Mega. a champion special right back at him. Yep. <laughs> CC is somehow staying alive and all that. Oh, way. Mecca! Mecca realizes, calls for the retreat. They're going back to the right of rocks. Another lead shift, 22 to 20, with 9.20 to go in the game. I thought the score might be a little bit higher by this point, but this is kind of what I saw. This is kind of what I'm, I was thinking would happen. 
Yeah, it's getting it's getting close to my 35 to 30 here. They might beat that out. I think your call might be closer at this point. Because they have been fighting it. Ten minutes to go, nine minutes to go, I should say. Um I think uh ever this is a crazy game where every death is so pivotal. Yeah, I mean, as soon as somebody dies, you see the other team just push. You know, uh, it's an immediate qu- reaction. For point. some of the lower tier squads, they just they think you know you can handle it. Only one guy's down, but when it's an eight v seven and the the odds are this close, that's focus fire. That's that's you know uh, medics having to do extra work. They're just they just can't. Um, and it tilts yep. the battle in one direction. Exactly. I mean, it's it's just way too much to handle whenever you get to that point. I mean, nobody's going to be able to handle the the focus fire coming in from four guys pushing on top of your three if they're pushing nonstop. If I'm Mecca right now, I'm wondering where do I take my team? I mean, I bet, oh, he's, he must see the gift there. Yep. Um, I, I, I do wonder what he does. I, I'd probably go north. Yeah, I'd probably take the he team is, north. There's a wide angle on this, actually. Well, Look at the... The team from uh, the Hungry Beavers. I think both teams north. are more uncomfortable north on this map for sure, and so I think Mecca probably comes to the conclusion I'd rather both teams be uncomfortable than we be at a disadvantage where over nine thousand is way more comfortable than us. Valid, yeah, for sure. I mean, I think every team in general is kind of uncomfortable north on this map, right? Nobody plays. Mm-hmm. Up Nobody wants to play, right. but at the same no. <laughs> time, right now it's the it's a good time to choose it because over nine thousand did go south. They've got the position south. Champion leading the way. Oh, Champion is, is as I said earlier, Champion of the bit. He wants a kill right now so bad I can feel it. It's almost like he's humming. <laughs> and he's 6-3, and three too, so he's he's aiming for it. Let's, let's get that breakdown right now going. We have Champion with 6-3, and three, Tornaga and the Mountain both with 5-3. and three. Look at that switch from team to team. And uh, Fairfax leading the heels right now with 500 more than the next closest, which is Staley. So the medic team right now for uh, Hungry Beavers outplaying, I would say, the medic pair for over 9,000 in terms of just overall heals by a pretty significant margin. Yeah, it makes you, I mean, in a way, it almost makes you wonder, you know, right? Because I've watched Iron and CC get them out of some really tough spots. Mm-hmm. But Aerith and, uh, I've already lost who the other med was. <laughs> uh, Staley and Fax, yeah. Yes, thank you. Staley and Fax are, are playing their minds off right I think, now and they expect as much from them i think what it probably indicates is that the battles for hungry beavers have been really fast uh sure. with not a lot of opportunity to really get any of those long saving heels whereas over nine thousand has been on the uh, you know pressuring hungry beavers all over the map and medics have had an opportunity to get heals since you know since the first minute for hungry beavers but now, the, now they're going to the rocks full switch of the map here uh, and now over 9,000 sits in mid, I believe. Yeah, just waiting to come out as Hungry Beavers has settled into the rocks. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised Saw's team really even pursued that much. We're just going to have a ring around the rosy here. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's been uh, four minutes of it so far. Because Saw's about to move into the it's rocks. A valuable and, four oh. minutes for both teams, frankly. Yeah, absolutely. Because next battle on this one pretty much decides a lot of it's, it. It it may. It very well may. I was thinking that this would be kind of the midpoint of the game at twenty two twenty, with five thirty to go. Right. And it's again, this hasn't even been a, a no impact game. Like neither side has been camping or anything like that. It, they've been fighting. As we've mentioned, the meds are just going crazy this game. I mean. If you're going to give the MVP to anybody, it should be the whole Hungry Beavers team for staying alive in that first battle. Did they cl- like, especially Mountain? I thought he was dead. I definitely did. Yeah, I think a med should get MVP of this one, no matter which side wins. Yeah, Fairfax probably. Uh, Fairfax yeah, is yeah. Uh, playing out of his mind right now. He's 500 points above Staley. Oh wow, yeah, that's insane. Who knows that? There's some contact now. We got some fighting happening now on the South Rock side. Sav was kind of by himself, though. Interesting. The uh, the North or the uh, East Mid team is coming out of East Mid as quick as they can. Uh, I think they were worried oh, about playing. Oh, wow. Champion gets a double. Oh, no. And a, oh, my, how the turntables have turned. <laughs> the score is 25 to 20 now. And and they are retreating. Beavers just flying out of there. Champ, that, that law was 
freaking just beautiful beautifully shot oh no oh no kaga takes too many kaga's gonna has to yeah, go kaga's down now good. he's so low yeah he's going down oh what a nice look nice nade good thought that was a good shot for it. yeah <laughs> He almost took one with him. Those are crafty plays. It's amazing how often they work to pull out something. I know Mecha, that's like almost like in in infantry days, pre-free infantry, that was like Mecha's bread and butter right there was that last second law, turn in law. Yep. And he can still do it. He showed it last fight, the fight before this one, but man, Champ is just terrifying with some of these shots. Hungry Beaver's medics are doing all they can just to keep HB in it right now because over 9,000 is coming at them with everything they got. Yeah, they've managed to stabilize, though. Hungry Beaver's is kind of sitting on this now. So I expect uh, an over 9,000 will probably fall out of this shortly. Because Hungry Beaver's has numbers on the right-hand side, and they're trying to cheat it a little bit. SV needs to probably keep Sob there in check. Yeah, stay out on the left. Keep that. Yeah. Colossal's a little low now. I think he's okay. Yeah, it's like Eric's gonna get over to him. He does. This right side is where the is where the game's gonna happen. But everybody seems to be ooh Mecca in trouble. Yeah, it looked like Good group Hungry group. Beavers had the advantage for a minute, but as soon as they pushed in a little bit, over nine thousand came back to that left side angle on it. Just very quick reactions. Again, from both sides. Mm -hmm. Both, uh, just just a lot of smart players in this game. A lot of smart players, and they're showing it. Yeah, I mean, these are the guys that have been on top of the games for, for years now, mm -hmm. right? I mean, it's it's these are the guys we've seen for a very long time. Shasta has been playing uh, a dominating LMG, oh, honestly. Kaga. He has. He has. And Gift Kaga takes down, down Kaga. That is, uh, that's the break open kill. Gift takes an, uh, an RPG, though, and they're calling it out. Can Jake get a few hits on him? I don't. Did he get nope? Jake is down. Yeah, I think Iron. Yeah, yeah, I think Iron got the pull on that. And that is four in a row now. Tw Thirty-two, twenty-one. Oh no. Yeah, it should pretty much do it. But this was a. This has been a well-fought game. It was. Uh, it was a question for I think both of us. How long can Hungry Beavers hold on? Um. They got to a minute. They got to two minutes this time. Um, that's a lot better than, than week one, that's for sure. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And, I mean, it's just a matter of outlasting sometimes with Sov, right? And you, it's very hard to outlead him for a full 30 yeah, minutes. Yeah, for 30 He's minutes, gonna have those moments. probably not going to happen. Right. Uh, you have to get your, you know, you would hope to get some big kills early, honestly. Yeah, and they did. I mean, they really they really kept this game tight for a while. We got some battles happening now in the East mid, West Mid, but... Sort of circumstantial at this point. Mecca knows how it's he's important it is. Down. He's willing his men to get ahead. <laughs> Hunger Beavers retreating out south mid. They realize everybody's in, in rocks. And watch this. Everybody's going to get in position to fight each other in rocks. Everybody's just trying to get south first. Everybody is. That was really fast. SV just ate a lot. Kaga overextended a little bit. Nope. This is yep. not good. Looks like HB is getting beat. They need to, ER needs to retreat. Yeah. He needs to shoot that left team as he falls too. Mountain is in trouble. He doesn't even know it yet. Oh, now he does. <laughs> he just got wrecked yep. down by an RPG. Yep. Here goes Mecha. He's getting Oh, that north group him. is too bunched. Mecha fall. Oh, Mecha gets oh, a kill. But awful. it's just a one in one trade yep. as Hungry Beavers scrambles for the door. <laughs> Well, Demon was on my fantasy squad. He is. Oh, uh, he has been destroying me. This Kaga game. goes down again. Kaga probably. Oh, yeah. yeah most, most deaths, deaths for Kaga. six for Tornaga and Kaga. Let's let's get the count there. Nine and three for Champion. If you pick Champion for your fantasy team, congratulations on that one. Gift and Tornaga with six and three. Although we know Tornaga six and six on the game. He still played pretty well. I. I have to say that was actually a really good game for Mecca. I think that other people, uh, th you know, as it turned out, Bowen, those moments where Mecca, you know, the team didn't follow him and they missed those four kills. Think about how pivotal that is when you look back at moments like that. Oh, um, yeah, absolutely. It, uh, Gift picking up the MVP for, the, I think, the second week in a row? Or uh, I guess he won one 
two weeks ago, maybe. Um, trying to recollect, but that's uh, that's his second MVP this season for over nine thousand. Um, yeah, I mean, and get played solid. I mean, he's you know he's six and three. Yeah. Uh. So yeah, get too great. Um. I I don't know who's going to step in here. Let's see here. Let's see if I get a hold of yeah, uh, Mister Demon. I need some representative from over nine K to come talk to us about what was the final score? I didn't even look. Thirty five to twenty two. 35 to 22 over 9k take it again that's another one of those scores where it doesn't really truly tell the tale of this game um it, 13 13 point difference there you know for the victors but honestly for much of that game until the last two minutes this game was much closer than that in about every way um, absolutely uh, as raver hops off I think uh, a few people will probably be a little disappointed with their overall play tonight. Um, oh, we got Eric in here now, and same with Champion, actually. Uh, Champion or Eric, love to hear from both of you if you <clears> want to do it at the same time. Uh, that was yeah. a that was a very interesting game. Let me see if I can is uh, making sure Champ. Yeah, let me get Champ unmuted if he wants to chat. There we go, buddy. Um, you know, it, it was well. He's not unmuted. Jack on it. He may have muted himself. May have muted himself. Yeah, he, yeah, okay. I don't think he's done. Okay. Yeah. Um, you know, that that game was close. That game was really close in the beginning. I think that there it was it was uh one of the we I don't know that we've ever seen that much pa- this posturing uh so far this season. You guys um I thought you actually had that first battle. What what did you think about the be- the, the first 15 minutes compared to the second 15 um and and did you guys feel in control for for the for that whole first half? Um, it, cause it sure felt like you came alive in the second. I mean, we always feel in control, right? You know, I wasn't here for week three's preview, but I heard what you and Mecca said and I agree with the Osh. You guys have yet to beat us. I don't know where you guys got the confidence from, but get good, get good kids. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. No, I, I had a bad game. Um, yeah, you did. but it's, it's, it's easy, you know? Um, and yeah. with Fosso not there, I knew that Mecca was going to do some rat plays and so I've knew it too. So all that posturing was because we knew there was going to be an ambush somewhere and we had to kind of go around and find where exactly they were uh, going to be ambushing from. Yeah, I mean, um, Gif did it did do a, a great job today. He uh, what finished with six and three champion with nine and three. Um, you had a few guys just come alive. No, no more than champion that the game was so tight until that double law he got. Uh, what was yeah. the reasoning for going for it was just to spread the love around? I know you gave gift an MVP earlier, so why not champion today? Well, champion got it before too, uh, in the first match against these guys. Mm-hmm. Uh, this one was a little bit of a, a tease, a tease on Mecca because, you know, TG left and Mecca has been kind of bashing the gift, uh, in other chats and everything like that. So, you know, maybe it should have been SV that left because I don't think he played good. I mean, the gift, the gift popped off aside from champion. So, um, you know, it is what it is. Well, let's talk about that. I think that this is kind of a weaker game for Mountain. I think, I, honestly, I, I just said it to Bowen a little bit ago. I think Mecca played pretty fantastic today. I think his team let him down a little bit today. Um, who did you notice mm-hmm. out there? Who do, who did you think could have picked up their game on Hungry Beavers? And what did you see as weaknesses that probably could have been fixed? Um, I, I would say Raver needed to step up his game. There were... I think that South push where it was literally just me and I uh-huh. didn't realize he had a medic by him. He should have finished me off. If that's, yep. if that's an unrusted raver, he, he takes me down hundred mm-hmm. percent. Um, Mecca was definitely the best player on their team. I think, uh, Jeff had a few good kills too, yeah. but, um, everybody else was kind of lackluster, especially SV, but, uh, Kaga as well, you know, too much. Wow. Yeah, Kaga, Kaga <laughs> was definitely out of form tonight. I think his lack of practice is kind of showing uh, in this game. Um, I thought Jake actually had a few moments of brilliance there, particularly the one of the laws in your guys' retreat. He, I, I didn't think Jake looked the the, the weakest, and he was the sub today. Uh, do you think Fausto mm-hmm. would have made a difference in this game? I think with Fausto in and him leading, it's a different game. I don't think you see as many ambushes that Mecca was setting up, and I think you see a lot more rotations, and I think that's a better style for us to play against um, just because we're also constantly rotating. So instead of just staring at each other for probably 15 minutes of the match 
and South Rocks, we're going to be catching each other either in mid or kind of you guys going around um, left around our base. So I think it would have been more fights in the open if Fausto were leading. And I think the score actually goes a little higher as it was in week one. Yeah, I think both Bo and A and I thought the score was going to be higher. Bo, do you have any questions or anything you wanted to ask? Yeah, you know, there was two plays that kind of caught my attention during this whole thing, right? So at one point, the game was uh, 14 to 14. It was tied, right? Uh, Mm -hmm. What was the call after that? Because right after that happened, you guys just ran them over like an 8 no. Like, was there a specific call that really just spurred everybody on to just kill everybody? It seems like you got mad, and we and Bowen said it. Well, let me just be real clear here. It was Sov's deafening screech. I had to take my earphones off, and uh, (laughs) then we all locked in. He put out the Nazgul call. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Okay. He he threatened rations, and I wanted to eat, okay? Fair. (laughs) It's part of being his base, and I get that. Well, Well, my food. (laughs) <laughs> Eric, thank you for joining us today. 35-22. Congratulations to your team on a, a, a midseason win against Hungry Beavers. And it looks like over 9,000 is going to march. You guys are just going to march to the championship for another year. Uh, it, I, uh, congratulations on the win again. Thank you. Great game. All right. Well, Bowen, any any final thoughts on this game? Anything you want to say? Nope, really fun to watch. wasn't as slow as I thought it would be, even though the score doesn't show it. That game was the game was fast paced. So the, yeah, super. This fun. would be a good game for people to watch if you want to study how the game is played, because it was yep. exactly what we thought. Kind of, uh, there was a lot of this. This was highbrow infantry and a lot of relocating. I do agree that Fausto would have made it even maybe a little better in terms of the the large swings, but in terms of just seeing what how individuals are supposed to move uh, and operate within the eight man unit. This is a case study for that, and I would encourage other people to watch this game in the future. Um, That will conclude our broadcast of Over 9,000 versus Hungry Beavers from Week 4 of Season 22 of the Unified Skirmish League. We want to invite you to join the fight by downloading the game at freeinfantry.com or to find out more about Unified Skirmish League, please visit uslzone.com. I want to thank my co-host for tonight. That was Bowen, trying a little bit of a different uh, style tonight. I appreciate your uh, willingness to do it. That's fun. Uh, and uh, thanks to our executive producer, Military Police. This has been Romulox, and you've been watching the Unified Skirmish League on USL Live.